Hello friends, welcome to Java Tricky Program Series. So let's see what we have for today. So here I am saying double D is equal to 1.10 minus 1.00. So it should be 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. And then I have this if else block where if D is equal to 0 0.10 print hello. Otherwise print hi. So if I run this program, what should be the output? It looks very simple. We know that double D value is 0 0.10, which is equal to this. So it should print hello. Let's just run this program and see what happens. So if I run this program, it's actually going into else block. So what it means that this D is equal to 0 0.10 is not right. So what did we do wrong? So the problem is we did not do anything wrong. It's just how the Java is stores double and float variables. So let's just print out this value of D to see what is the actual value of D. So now if I run this program, you'll see that the actual value is 0 0.1 and then there are so many zeros and nines. So this is because the internal way of storing double and float values in Java. So whenever you want to do some subtraction or or any arithmetic operation and you are looking for exact values, do not use double or float. Always use big decimal because there it is taken care. So if I let's just see this thing. If I say big decimal d is equal to let's just rename it to d1 new big decimal 2.1.10 and then if I have to so okay I'll have to import it so now if I have to subtract it then I can say dot subtract new big decimal and the value is 1.0 now if I print this like what is the value of d1 let's see what it prints so here we are getting exact value 0 0.10 so now if I copy paste here and make it like d1 so it will actually give it is giving error because obviously these are not compatible so i'll say d1 dot double value then if i run this this time it's going into if block because here the double value is actually 0 0.10 not with all those extra decimal places like we saw earlier all these zero zeros and nine so uh, this will help you in uh, writing programs and uh, I would say like in most of the places you should avoid using double and floats and actually work with big decimal because it provides a lot of uh, uh, additional uh, methods like subtract, addition, all those things and uh, you will always get the exact value. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.